If you hate the beach, the beach sucks, and you love the mountains, though, where are you going to go, and how long is it going to take you to get there? Hey, we have people contacting us all the time about um, looking for a realtor and looking to move to Richmond, Virginia. If that sounds like you, we would love to be the real estate team that helps you. All of our contact information is below the description and we can't wait to hear from you. Hey everyone and welcome back to Living in Richmond, Virginia. I am super excited about who we have on today in our um, city versus city uh, spotlight. It is Jennifer Stimpkin. Stimson. Stimson. I knew I was going to mess it up. <laughs> That's all right. Stimson. You got it. Stimson. I was so, I was so ready not to say Simpson. And we're the, okay. Anyways. Jennifer Stimson and Amy Dahl. Welcome, Hello. you guys. Thank Hello. you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone, today we are going to be doing a Richmond versus Virginia Beach um, or Va Beach. I don't know if that's like how you know for sure you're not local. If you say Va Beach, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, you're definitely not local. No. You're not local. I just messed it up. All right. So Virginia Beach, we're going to say that. Yeah. And we're just going to kind of be talking back and forth so we can compare and contrast for a lot of people that I know contact me about Richmond, Virginia um, are also, whatever reason, they're like, you know, and we're also considering Virginia Beach. So I was like, well, we need to talk to someone from Virginia Beach and get this all down. So. All right, so um, Jennifer or Amy, whoever wants to start, and both of you, I'd love for you to chime in. If you wanted to go to the nearest amusement park, where would you go and how long would it take you to get there? <laughs> well, my 16-year-old would say we got to go to Bush Gardens, um, which is not that far, you're about a 45 minute um, to an hour drive, mm -hmm. um, but he's very much into roller coasters and they've got quite a few to choose from. So for sure, my, my kids are obsessed with water parks right now. So they're younger and, uh, and we've got a little water park here called ocean breeze. And then there's one, a larger one called OBX, which is right over the border of North Carolina. Cause we're really close to North Carolina. Okay. So yeah, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot to choose from all within an hour's drive. Yeah. That's excellent. Excellent. And Amy, the ones that are right, the one that's, I'm pretty sure I know the Ocean Freeze. That's like maybe down kind of by like, is it like kind of like Princess Anne and like close to the, uh, li um, is there like a general booth right by the okay. aquarium and uh, right by the ocean front. So in the summer, they'll get, uh, they'll get a lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. um, so the weekends are pretty crowded. The weekdays aren't bad. And then there's a really nice aquarium down there and there's whale watching tours. And then there's a ropes course. Um, which my kids love. My yeah, it's really my one. five year old, nine year old are in the trees periodically, and they <laughs> yeah they like the zip lines and the ropes course. So it's all kind of in one big area. That's fun. That is so fun. Um, Jennifer, I'm kind of with you. Like you know, um, for amusement parks for us, it's kind of like it's like Bush Gardens. Um, right. About the that's interesting because. I would have thought we would have been about even, but I I think you guys may be a smidge closer. I mean, we're like almost like it's like right there, smack in the middle. Um, you got Kings Dominion, right? You're closer to Kings Dominion. We do have Kings Dominion, yeah. And so that's like you know from anywhere really in the Richmond area, more like you know 30, 30, 40 minutes, something like that. So yeah, yeah. It's Which one do you like better? We never make it up to Kings Dominion. Um. I've got a lot of like uh, childhood and like teenage memories from King's Dominion uh, for sure. And I would have said like, you know, oh, King's Dominion has better rides. I don't know. I, th I think I'm kind of more of a Bush Gardens girl. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know, so same, you know, similar to you guys. So, all right. If you guys wanted to go to um, like the park, everyone that lives in Virginia Beach goes to, what would it be and how long would it take you to get there? So in Virginia Beach, I'd go to First Landing State Park. It's, um, it's not the park like you think of with the 
you know, swing set and swings and that type of thing. Um, it's got miles and miles of nature trails, trails and old oaks and moss mm. and beaches. And um, so you can go sit on the beach and you can walk or you can run. A lot of the triathlon clubs train through the trails. Okay. Uh, there's a really nice nature center there. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Awesome. You could spend all day in there. And then I might actually go to Mount Trashmore Park, which I know the name yes. just makes everybody kind of crack up. <laughs> yes. Mount Trashmore. Um, but because I, I'm not, probably not going to spend the whole day at a park, but I would love to stop by and walk around the lake. And, you know, if you want to climb up the mound itself and kind of fly a kite or something. When my kids were younger. We totally did that. Um, and you'll find people out at Mount Trashmore all the time, running, taking their, their dogs around. Flying like kites. Yeah, yeah. flying kites. Oh, well, yes. It's fun to drive by just in that respect, too, to kind of see all the kites going and stuff. Yeah. They have a great kids area. They do. Yeah. That and was. And it used to be uh, a <laughs> it I like, I like, uh, oops, we lost the old button uh -huh. there. So I'm back. Um. Uh -huh. It's so funny about Mount Trashmore that um, that's probably one of, because my dad was actually Navy and was stationed uh, down your south side. We both have south sides, actually. Um, <laughs> your south side, where you live, um, he was stationed down there when I was uh, young, and I know Mount Trashmore. And I'll have to dig around in some of the old pictures and see if I can find. I, I know there's a picture of a grubby old little me um, with <laughs> Winnie the Pooh um, in my ugly, horrible 70s, awful clothes. You know, the two, it's just oh, horrible. But um, I love Mount Trashmore. Yeah. For park up here, I would say Richmond for like quintessential, like where would be the places uh, that you would go? I would say probably like um, Maymont. Is, is a big one here in Richmond. If anyone ever comes to visit you or if you live in Richmond, everyone's gonna be at Maymont. You know, they got the little petting farm, they got the beautiful like um, gardens and the, the old Maymont house. You know, it's just kind of the spot. Um, and, and really anywhere in the Richmond area, if you live downtown, it might be as close as five minutes from you. But if you live in the out, you know, the out counties, whatever, I would say maybe, you know, 20 minutes. Um, other than that, um, maybe like the Lewis Ginter Botanical Gardens, you know. There, that sort of thing. we have Lewis Ginter. Yeah, for you up there, it's yeah. really nice. There. It is pretty, and I mean, you, the Botanical Gardens actually is in Norfolk for you guys, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. also That's a beautiful great. one too. A really it, pretty one. You know, we've got so many great parks and places to go. Just peaceful serenity. Yeah. Um, you know, all kinds of options. Botanical Gardens here does kayaking tours through it mm -hmm. underneath the bridge. Nice. And they have the best yeah. lights display at Christmas. They do. They have a drive through lights display that's yeah. amazing. Oh, speaking of which, you guys have the most fun drive through tour that do you got? Do they still do it along the boardwalk? They oh, do. the Christmas lights? Uh -huh. Love that. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, I thought we were trying to talk up Richmond. I love Virginia Beach. So <laughs> it's so much fun. Come on down. <laughs> Stop talking your city up. No, it really is. It's a great place. It's a great place. All right. Now, if you guys wanted to catch, like, if you wanted to go to a concert and there's like a big name coming in town, first off, who all would each of you go to see? And secondly, like, where would you go? How long would it take you to get there? Yeah, yeah, well, it'd be Virginia Beach Amphitheater for sure. Okay. Um, so like I half like, an hour for, from us. Yeah, probably roughly. 30 minutes. It's um, kind of the running joke for our areas. Wherever you're trying to go from one, you know, Chesapeake to Norfolk or to Virginia Beach, you're looking at about a half an hour. Yeah. Any which way you're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of the running joke. But the amphitheater for sure. Yeah. They have lots of great concerts all summer long. I personally don't. I love country music. Okay. I don't love sitting outside in the heat. Got it. <laughs> Got so it. that would not be my first choice, but there's always great concerts going on at the amphitheater. I don't you? I'm a country girl at heart too, actually. We were just looking at this. Mm -hmm. I um we've done a lot of concerts there. And I and I've seen everybody from Bruce Springsteen to Eric Church to I mean, you name it. We did season tickets one year and um had all team seats up front. So we've seen a lot. Ooh. Pretty awesome that year. That's before I had kids. <laughs> Life <Gotcha. is> <laughs> Life 
life was different. Totally different. Yeah. That's but, a good um, thing. My favorite would be a country concert in September, and mm. and when when the tourists are gone and the the kind of the heat yeah. subsides a little bit. Right. <laughs> when little when bit. everything really is truly thirty minutes from you, rather than like, well, it depends. Is it a Friday afternoon yeah. or a yes. holiday weekend? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most of our tourist traffic is really only at the ocean front. We get yeah yeah um, it it pretty much sticks to the ocean front. But it's a, it's a little muggy here in the summer. We get some hot days. Yes, we, we do, we do so. get some mugginess. Um, what about you? Yeah, where would you guys go? The funny thing is, the funny thing is, Richmond used to have a really big um, indoor, uh, big venue right downtown, um, but they actually closed it down, so it stinks. So we got to kind of travel out. Um, so really, you know, we, we would be coming down y'all's way. I know, of course, you have the amphitheater. Um, I've seen many concerts there as well, um, but probably like Norfolk, like what is it, the Norva, the Scope, the Scope there, there. Mm -hmm. or or Charlottesville, um, and both are going to be either of those options. Obviously, going down to the amphitheater is going to be for for us in Richmond. It's going to be probably closer to like an hour, forty five minutes, I would think. But um, because of it being just kind of like a little bit out there, but you know, getting to Norfolk probably could do that, maybe hour. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes, something like that. And then probably about an hour to Charlottesville. So you guys definitely have something right there, which is nice. Well, you know, ODU over the last decade has really okay. developed too. And they have the TED Constant Convocation Center. Okay. And um, they're hosting a lot of about content that? there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're they're giving the scope a run for their money. Um, yeah. I've seen some great artists there. And the college venues tend to be like really nice. You know, yes. like really nice. You don't have to worry about like, oh, I raised it's getting kind of run down. Oh, no, 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 no. They always look great. This is the showcase, right? You know, it's so. beautiful. Right. It, is it is beautiful. It still shows like new. Okay. Well, I have to keep that in mind. So we know that if I get some free, well, you know what? We do have kind, we have a little baby amphitheater. It's um, Innsbruck. And they do that, like, you know, the warmer months sort of thing. And it's situated, like, in a in an office. It's an office park. You would, like, never know it was there unless you knew it was there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of the similar sort of thing that they bring all the, the big names and different things in there. I'm trying to think who – I don't know. I'm kind of like the person who likes all sorts of different things. Um, I like country. I like pop. I like – I just like – I just like – so it just depends what kind of mood you're in. Um but I, I would love to see, if we're going to go country, I think I'd love to see Shania Twain. I think she would be a really fun oh, person, uh, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. We just need to get her out of Vegas. Come to the <laughs> right? Yeah, just, good luck there. <laughs> just for a weekend, for us, right? So that would be great. That'd be great. So we know, though, that if I get those tickets for Shania, if she's at Innsbruck, Jennifer does not want to come because it's hot. So okay. unless it's September. <laughs> well, for Shania, I might. Okay. I might. Okay. We'll get all the fans out. You know, we'll all be like, you know, our fans, you know, those little <laughs> motorized ones. Yeah. Okie dokie. All right. So um, I don't know. I, I know this is where, you know, this is where Virginia Beach is going to, um, you know, go up like the, of course, what it's going to be. But all right. If you want to go to the beach. <laughs> So my favorite beach spot is always Sandbridge to go to a uh, uh, little island state park. Yeah. Um, only because when I had my kids when they were younger, they had the bathroom facilities. Mm -hmm. There's just something about that part that I just really love Sandbridge. Also still really love the Bayside of um, First Landing State Park as well. Yes. So it's kind of a. a and they've got a nice too. walkway now that wasn't there when I was a kid, but it's there oh. now. Got a really nice walkway over to the beach and a visitor center with bathrooms mm -hmm. and um yeah it's it's really nice and they make it easy to access the beach and there's a parking lot there. Sandbridge Little Island is really nice. Mm -hmm. Sandbridge is a little bit further from Chesapeake. Yeah. More like the 40, 45 minute range. Whereas, there's a lot of seasonal rentals down by Sandbridge. Yeah, so you sure. get a lot of homes. Mm -hmm. Um and then first landing is the surrounded by a campground and a state park. So that's really pretty too. So both of you guys picked kind of the, um, like, you need to be a little bit more local to know those rather than <laughs> the ocean front. The ocean front. 
So talk to us about the oceanfront because you're local. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no? I don't venture down to the ocean front. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, um, sometimes I do in the winter. Yeah, and restaurants. We, I yep, restaurants I'll go down there. Okay. And in the winter, we'll do like 5Ks and races down there, but I don't, okay. um, I don't go down there from mm -hmm. May to September. <laughs> Is it just because it's just too it's crazy traffic. and touristy? Just traffic and touristy. Okay. And it's a fun town. Like, I'm yeah. grateful we live in a place where everybody comes to vacation. Right. But if you're a local and you're going to take your kids out, you go sit on a local speech. I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, needless to say, <laughs> you have a little more of a drive, right? <laughs> if the rich, if a, if a Richmonder wants to go to the beach, like an, you know, an actual beach, not like, you know, let's go to the beach that's on the river or something like that. You know, if you want to go to the beach, you're going to Virginia beach and you're going to be driving probably about, eh, it depends. I, I would say get ready for two hours at least. Um, now, now, and like you guys, you know, we also have Outer Banks, you know, if we didn't want to do a local beach, if it was like, hey, we wanted to go to kind of other one, you know, you guys are even closer to the Outer Banks than, than us, for sure. We're probably at about three hours, whereas you guys are probably like maybe an hour, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah about, mm -hmm. you know, depending on which And the Outer Banks, I would say a lot of people that live here, if they're going to go vacation at the beach, then they... Oftentimes we'll go and rent a house down, you know, the yeah. Outer Banks or, you know, somewhere down there, vacation mm -hmm. together as a family. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. So going to going to mutual places, um, I'll have to check out. I don't know if I've ever been to um, Amy. What was the one the the one you were talking about? First Landing State Park. It's like I've heard yeah. of it and I've seen pictures of it. I don't know if I've actually been there. So it used to be called oh, Seashore yes. State Park when we were growing up, which is okay. going to hate us. And yes. yes. Okay. okay. Landing State Park now. And on the beach side, um, it occupies kind of the whole northern peninsula of Virginia Beach. It's pretty okay. big on the map. Um, but the beach side, there's a campground on one side and you pull in this nice parking lot and there's a visitor center. They do summer camps. My kids do stand up paddle boarding and kayaking uh. camp there. And um, it's a nice shallow entry, just like Sandbridge. Nice mm -hmm. soft sand, shallow entry. You know, it's the bay, so it's a little more protected from the okay. waves and currents than the ocean front. Right. And, um, and Sandbridge is a little easier. Sandbridge, the waves can yeah. get pretty substantial, they can. though. If you have you levels think. that might make you a little nervous mm -hmm. at Sandbridge, but. Sandbridge is fun. We do a staycation down there once a year. We take the That's kids because we're here. But we just leave home because it feels like a vacation. And mm -hmm. we go it's, it's, it's out a little bit more. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just like it doesn't feel like you're right in the, the hub of everything. Kind of like slow, mm -hmm. slower little pace. Yeah. Um, that was, that was, I like that you said that because I've, I've always wondered if you live in a beach town, if it's like, eh, who wants to go to the beach? Or if oh, it's, it's like, no, fun. you still like the beach. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just maybe, yeah. maybe not the big, you know, the big, the big touristy one. No, it is, you know. Oh, I can't well. get enough sand. I could sit there all day long. When we go show property down there, we always take a full stop. And yeah. just go sit on the beach and regroup <laughs> for five minutes. Just listen to the yeah. waves whenever we show property together. Yeah. Y'all see dolphins like anytime you're out by like the bay or the ocean like that. Like, do you get to see dolphins? If you wanted to, could you see a dolphin out in the water every day? If you were trying, yeah, if you were down there, probably. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sandbridge, you see them a lot. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we are going to have to give Virginia Beach that. If you're a beach <laughs> person. If you want to see dolphins and you want to do a kayak tour, mm -hmm. um, can be an incredible experience and you can do kayaks or there's even the dolphin there's a dolphin tour out of the aquarium, the aquarium yeah. um which is kind of a neat, neat yeah. experience too oh so cool and whales too and whales they do, whales. They do yes. whale watching tours too depending on the season the time of year mm -hmm. yep that's super neat okie dokie yeah. i think we yeah. might we might have something good to talk about <laughs> now that <laughs> <laughs> if you love if you hate the beach the beach sucks and you love the mountains, though. Where are you going to go? And how long is it going to take you to get there? <laughs> yeah, I think you went on that you one. Win. You're definitely going to win on that one. It's a little more of a hike. I mean, still three, yeah, three hours to four mm -hmm. hours to hit some different yeah. options for yeah. some mountain views and cooler, fresh air. <laughs> I love going up to Wintergreen. And um, okay. you know, my kids are a little bit young to ski. This will be kind of our magic year because my youngest is three. So we'll get them on skis this year. But um, I like going up to Wintergreen. And I like going up there year-round, I'll be honest. Yeah. I love hiking. We are pretty flat here. Mount Trashmore is yeah. the biggest hill we have. And it's kind yes. of a joke. <laughs> so um, we will go up there for hiking. We go up there for breweries and wineries. Mm -hmm. We... Um, 
we used to go up to Nelson County a lot and visit Blue Mountain and all the great places that are a whole lot closer to you than they are to us. But it's only three hours. So we would pile it on a you know Friday after the kids got out of school and yeah. go in the fall. Um, and we visit in the winter too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well. In fact, you... I've been watching their property values as a real <laughs> <laughs> It's slowly creeping down. Uh, if we uh, if we live if you live in Richmond, you can definitely get to some mountains within an hour. So that is nice. If you yeah. want to like get out of you know the rat race, if you want to get away from all the hot pavement and you want a little bit of a reprieve from the heat, mm-hmm. we can be there pretty fast. So that is nice. I would say usually it's like you know we hit about um, if we went straight west on 64, but we do have mutual interstates, which is, which is very good. We do connect. Um, if we went straight West on, on 64, you know, we'd be able to see mountains or be in the mountains hitting right about Charlottesville and just a little bit, a little bit less. So, um, I think that's funny that you guys go to Wintergreen. I like Wintergreen too. I think direct, more direct for Richmond would be definitely Mass Nutton. You know, it's literally like right there. You could be to Mass Nutton from Richmond and maybe, um, yeah, an hour. That's it. So nice and close, nice and close. All right. So we, uh, you know, I think we did kind of, mm, we balanced out. We all have some good parks, you know, <laughs> some good attractions, pretty close to different amusement parks, pretty even, you know, concerts. You guys, I think might have, well, I don't, not might, you all have more immediate things definitely closer to you. So we'll give you that beach. Mm. <laughs> Got the beaches right there everywhere. Like, oh, you even have them to choose from. Well, I don't really like to go to the beach, you know. That's, kind of, <laughs> that's so 2021. I go to these very, yeah, no, I'm kidding. I would think that you probably have more cultural things than we do, though, being a yeah. as much larger city than we do. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to look it up. We'll have to look it up. All right. All right. So. We're going to do, I, I want to ask you guys there, because it was funny that you guys were talking about when you were showing properties and all. Um, Jennifer, what would you say is your favorite place to visit in your MLS coverage area? It doesn't necessarily have to be a neighborhood. So what? That's so hard. You mean like- I know, I know. You can You can have a first choice and a second choice. How about that? Are we talking about like neighborhoods, favorite neighborhoods? It could be neighborhoods. It could be areas. It could be just a spot you love to go to. I love, you love to go to. I, 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 there's just so many. <laughs> it is hard. It just, yeah, they're so different. Um, I do love the charm of some of the older homes in Norfolk. So yes. Ghent, Colonial Place. Oh, uh, yes. Um, they're hundred year old homes. Well, hundred yeah. year old homes. And, and coming from being a, a Georgia Peach and coming from the Atlanta area, I just that's just something different that we have here that I've kind of grown to appreciate. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I get the chance to go show some of those older, you know, hundred year old homes and see the stained glass windows or the glass doorknobs mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. that's just so differently crafted. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's kind of neat. I have one that's going to hit the market that has the old crank doorbell. <gasps> I button, love those. God, I love those. The kitchen yeah. floor that used to be the dining room, and it's where the head of the household used to sit, and he'd hit it with his toe to call the wait staff from downstairs up. And it's yeah. uh, it's pretty it's just, awesome. It's, neat. it's so cool. It's yeah. so yeah. cool. Okay, so again, for you, how about you, Amy? What would you say is like uh, a favorite spot? I'm a, I'm a water girl, so... Okay. Um, I, we have a seasonal rental in Sandbridge and I mm-hmm. love Sandbridge that our family owns. Mm-hmm. I love going down there and showing property and talking to people about investments. Um, I probably, my favorite though, is probably the North end of Virginia beach. So okay. I showed a house two weeks ago. Now the house was okay. The lot was stunning. It was the original owner. He's owned it since mm. the forties or fifties. Um, his family was, and we sat on the back. Um, yard on the dock and you could hear the kids um, laughing on the beach across the way if you looked across the water and the air was still enough you could hear the be- the kids laughing on the beach over at North Landing State Park and so um, it was just so serene so I'm I-, I love a water view I'm a sucker for a water view I get it I get it for sure um 
How about for you guys, like, what about like favorite restaurants? You've got some great things down there. Oh, favorite yeah. restaurants. Favorites. Oh. <laughs> so many favorites. If you want a water view, then the porch at Long Creek is amazing. Great. And they've got um, some really fabulous cocktails and appetizers too. Rustic Spoons, one of our oh. newer ones, just a locally owned place. It's got okay. great, it's uh, got a really different menu and I love it. Mm -hmm. um, not something you would normally pick out, but I think the chef and the owner are pretty creative. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. mm -hmm. Norfolk's really become a foodie place. There's tons mm -hmm. of food down there. Um, I like yeah. seafood, so okay. most of the stuff down at the beach has great yeah. seafood. Mm -hmm. So. Do y'all yeah. like Rudy Inlet? I finally got to go there last year. I'd never been there and I loved the feel. I loved yes. the feel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Rudy Inlet's kind of tucked back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And uh, a lot of locals go there, especially mm -hmm. in the off season. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yep. Oh, so I was a local. I was like, yeah, I love Rudy Inlet at Va Beach. And they're like, you're not local. Get out of our Uber. So, <laughs> Va <no>. Beach. No. <laughs> yeah. If you caught Norfolk, you are not from you're here. Not yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> Now I have a question. I have a question. This is totally like my parents and they still use it and it drives me bonkers. Um, does anyone, Danielle's way, does anyone use the term like, um, instead of saying Hampton Roads, do they say Tidewater? I hear it occasionally. Yeah, the Tidewater area, Tidewater region. Um, I think that's like really, really like old school. Yeah, yeah. I would say not often. Yeah. Not often. No. Okay. You think of a charity with the name in it and a store with the name of it, but you hear Hampton yeah. Roads a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Just settled a bet. Just won myself fifty dollars. <laughs> I knew I was right. I knew I was right. All right. Gosh, Richmond. It's hard. It's so hard. There's so many different cool, cool spots. Where do you? Yeah. Where do you eat? Um. Let's see. Um. There is actually a little place. It's not, it's not, um, oh, there's actually, there's two. Oh my gosh. What is the name of that place? I'm going to totally blank. That's awful. There is a place that's in Mannequin Sapat, uh, Mannequin Sapat, which is Goochland County, which is like just outside of uh, Short Pump, you know, yeah. West Rico. There is the cutest little like, um, I don't know if it was maybe like a, a bed and breakfast or a farmhouse at some place. They have like the best lunch and I it's awful I love it so much that I can't remember what it's called I just know exactly how to get there <laughs> it was so good they even have drinks with like um drinks with like um cotton candy like you'd get at a carnival like it has the little um paper cone like it's uh -huh. sticking out of there I'm like a drink and cotton candy That's oh right. my gosh I'm in heaven <laughs> The cutest little thing. They've got um, roosters and chickens um, kind of like in the back right there. So you can hear them going, you know, and little sheep and cute little baby piggies and <laughs> yummy, yummy food. Um, I love that place. I love that place. There is a place um, that's on the opposite kind of side. It's called uh, the lily pad. It doesn't have the most beautiful view. It doesn't have a beautiful like, oh, my God, you know, like panoramic. You see all the dolphins. No, it actually has... <laughs> It's water, but it has the view of like the smokestacks, like the industrial side of Richmond. <laughs> it's a horrible view. It's a horrible view. Horrible view. But the food is so, uh, the food's so good. Real easy, like down to earth sort of food. And they're always like live music, like on Fridays and the weekends like that. It's just fun, laid back. I love that. That's, that's like the cool stuff. I probably should be saying fancy restaurants that are in uh, in the city. They, there really are some really, really nice ones. If I'm going to catch a show, like um, theater, you know, we do have a really nice theater district um, and everything's back, you know, the Broadway sort of stuff now. There is a place um, down there in Jackson Ward and it's called um, uh, Max's on Broad. And that is just beautiful. It's like, um, like very French Parisian inside, very fancy. Um, and wonderful chicken and waffles and um, just beautiful ambiance, really amazing food. So I'd say that those are those are favorites. For hangout. If you were coming to Virginia Beach, you would be yeah. told us if you didn't get into being a biscuit. Oh, that's true. So we have a little place in Pungo and, um, and it oh. is 
popular locals favorite and they don't take reservations and they're it's in a small, small old farmhouse although they've expanded outside and they have sitting areas under lights and an outdoor okay. bar so you'll go for breakfast and you'll be drinking mimosas before you get in as you wait yeah. and on any given morning at 7 a.m they open they have an hour wait um but it is well it's worth so it good. everything's made from scratch it's amazing and what That's is it called be in a biscuit Vienna biscuit. Worth, yeah, you can't miss Vienna biscuit. Just okay. I'll have to remember great, that. Great food, great drinks. Yeah. yeah. I don't okay. think I've ever had anything from there. No, no, it's really no. a great spot. I'll have to remember that for sure. For sure. <laughs> Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's see. Um, tell me a little bit about like what would you say average sales price, you know, price range in your area in Virginia Beach. What would you say that is? So Jen, I think pulled Hampton Roads. Did you pull? All I Hampton pulled some of the cities. It's, yeah. You know, on paper, it's right in the low threes, three twenty. Mm -hmm. Realistic that is. Right, right. <laughs> we looked at that it's number and we thought, find, wow, you know, solid yeah. ones that you. And I think that factors in townhomes and condos. Yes. Um, yes. And so I would say your average single-family home is going to be between three fifty and four fifty, probably. Mm -hmm. Our probably average sales price is probably somewhere between three fifty and five ish ballpark for central mm -hmm. Virginia. It's not on the water or anything like that. Um, you can get into smaller condos and townhomes, which throw the skew the numbers off. Yeah. But I'd say you're probably three fifty to four fifty. Yeah. I think I think you're set. And and really in all actuality, um, unless you're throwing Williamsburg or something like that in there, you guys probably with if you're pulling all of Hampton Roods. I think probably putting the peninsula in there probably brings you guys down. It always seemed like when I was looking at things, it was always like Virginia Beach was always what, and Southside is what brought everything up. Virginia Beach and Chesapeake and Norfolk are definitely more expensive. Hampton yeah. and Newport News mm -hmm. are a little yeah. less expensive. And then you go up to Yorktown and Gloucester and right. Williamsburg, and then your prices are very comparable to where we're at here. Yeah. You get a little more space up there. You get water down sure. here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So pick your, pick your poison. Yeah. Um, I actually looked, I know that things have been creeping up um, and I would not be surprised if yours is a little smidge higher than us. But when I looked at just single family, what we're looking at now, which is, it's just so up from everything, which I think everything is, we're right at about 390 is our average sales price. And I didn't, I, I did just, you know, Richmond, Henrico, Chesterfield, Hanover, Goochland and, um, Powered and, and through New Kent and their sort of thing. But yeah, I was like, wow, that is up a lot. It is up yeah. a lot. That's probably, yeah, we're right in there, 350 to 450. And mm -hmm. you're that it's probably not a single family home. Yeah. No. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay. Or it needs, or, or or it needs updating. <laughs> or what? Or it needs updating. Right, right. Of or course. Or I'm going to send you to check the crime statistics before you do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, hey, you know. Based on what you shared with me, why don't you go so drive much. the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, the old thing there. Okay. Um, how about traffic and commuting in your area? Where are most people commuting to? What would you say are people's average commute times if they live in Virginia Beach? Well, all our traffic is driven around. They, yeah, the everything's driven around the bases. So our we're kind of an anomaly. We have so many bases here between Oceana and Norfolk, Little Creek, and our peak traffic hours are when everybody's going into work from six yeah. to eight in the morning and, you know, four to six in the evening when that base lets out at four o'clock at 1600, it's, that's peak traffic hours for us. So um, most people are commuting to a base, Norfolk being the largest, and most people it's average that they make a 30 minute commute, you know, mm -hmm. or maybe 45 minute maybe peak 45, traffic. But yeah. the joke is that sometimes you can leave about three minutes earlier and hit the, miss the traffic. You just start to learn your windows. Oh yeah. Start where you're coming from. Yeah. And, and I tell all my clients to live and work on the same side of the bridge or tunnel. So Amen. we are all about bridges <laughs> and tunnels here. Yeah. <clears throat> for, for sure. For sure. Um, well, this is kind of like the mountain bit. Um, we don't have traffic. We really don't have traffic, which is, which is nice, which is nice. Um, unless someone is, <laughs> what's that? What's that? So maybe we should move. <laughs> I know great realtor, you know, no, <laughs> no, um, we can do 
do like that. We can do like that movie. Um, what was it like? Um, oh my gosh, the one that was like Christmas. Like the one was sick of being in the oh, um, yeah. in Europe. She went into the house. It's a house swap thing. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. What's yes. house swap? That's where you go. You know, a new show. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we just came up with this new plan, you know, we're going to do, gonna do <laughs> a house swap and we're going to see if we really yeah. like it, love it or list it, right, you know? Yes! Um, Virginia style, uh, definitely are, I mean, we just, we just don't have traffic. I mean, we have a little teeny bit, but most people work in the Richmond area. Um, we have one base, that's it. If you, if you're at Fort Lee, you tend to be living uh, south side and closer to that and there might be some traffic, but really not that much. Um, everyone, you know, works right in the Richmond area and then or they're um, or the remote or hybrid. So commute times actually average for the Richmond worker are maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice um, where we hit our traffic or where we have to gauge things is if you are hitting 95 and you're having to go north. It's really kind of like right at about Kings, right at Kings Dominion. That's when it all starts. And then. Or traffic if you were going down it was like <laughs> pretty much you hit Williamsburg and that's where it starts so for anyone who wants to stay local if you don't like traffic Richmond is the place for you nice. for sure. maybe not not maybe not Virginia Beach no but no, you do have no, the water no. and dolphins so yes we factor tra <laughs> traffic into almost all yeah. our purchases yeah. when people are talking about where they're gonna work yeah and then we start talking where you should live yeah good smart smart for sure okay Property taxes in the area, what would you say are the cities or, um, all your cities, uh, cities or most popular counties in your area that most of your people are going to be living? Yeah, so we don't have counties, actually. No, nope. cities. That's You're it. right. You don't have counties, yeah. do you? Okay. No. No. So anywhere from like 99 cents to like a dollar and 24 per okay. hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. It range right around a dollar. Virginia Beach is the mm -hmm. cheapest, but it, it has tax revenue or tourist revenue coming in. Oh. And the most expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah. So getting that older home in Norfolk, your taxes are a little bit higher. But yeah, it goes from a dollar to a dollar and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. So not, yeah. Our property taxes are pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are yours? It, 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 very, oh, actually, very comparable, which is interesting because all of yours be in cities. Well, I guess your cities. What did you say was it was a Virginia Beach was the cheapest? How much was yeah. it? Uh, ninety nine cents a dollar. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Because that really is it's that's for a city that's inexpensive. Because usually you're over a dollar. dollar. Yeah. Yeah. So like Richmond City, the city of Richmond is definitely the highest for our area, and that would be at a dollar twenty mm -hmm. for every hundred dollars assessed. And then our counties. Um, I would say that Chesterfield's probably our highest. They just dropped ours, used to be like 97 cents, and they just dropped it to 92. Damn, you can live in Virginia Beach and it's 99 cents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're going to pay a premium to get close to the water. This yeah. is true. This is true. You pay it one way or another. And that's what I kind yeah. of have always told people. I'm like, you know, okay, your taxes might be lower. Do you know, guys, about, I, I like all of a sudden did this. I was like, why haven't I even thought about this? That it's like almost like to compare your different areas, like if you had a house, you were buying a house between like 500 and 600,000 in each spot. And let's say the property is assessed right about the same, like what would be the difference in the taxes in different areas? I and mean, yours seem to be pretty close. So it's they not that much close. of a difference. Not that much of a difference, you know? They're very close for us. I They're tell everyone about 1%. Yeah, I, they close. really are. They really are close. When I looked at like Henrico, you know, for that, it would be like 3,100 a year. Chesterfield would be about, well, next would be like Hanover, about 3,200. And then about 3,400 for Chesterfield, which is higher. And then the city for about the same would be like 4,400. So it does jump a good amount. So yeah. mm -hmm. that is, I never knew that, that y'all's were super inexpensive. Hmm. Yeah. Yours aren't that far off from ours. I, didn't, nah. I wouldn't have thought that either. Our, count, our counties are kind of high. They think they're fancy space. cities or something. I don't know. More space and no traffic. <laughs> I There you go. You pay for it one way or another, right? You All sure right. I'll remember that. I have to tell myself that. Yeah. You know, glass half full, you know, <laughs> right. not the gap, the gain, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a little contest now. We're going to do a little contest now. 
I want you guys to go on and on your phone and find your favorite home that is in your MLS selling area right now. Um, that's around the 500,000 range, five, 500 to 520, okay. and tell us about it. Okay. All right. So I we have one listed. It's under contract right now. This actually happens okay. to be um, at 1212 Clater Court, and it's in Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. And things I love about it, it is okay. in an established wooded neighborhood, but it backs up to a lake that is stocked. And so we took probably two, three months to get this house ready for the market. Mm -hmm. And um, the original owners had still owned it. And no, actually they're the second or third owner, but either way, we got it ready. They've owned it for quite some time. And things I love about it, um, big trees, established neighborhood, but it's got a dock out back. We even included a paddle boat in the listing. And while I was getting the house ready to list, the little turtles would crawl up the bank. And so you could sit out there and drink your coffee in the morning or drinks in the evening on the dock and watch the fish jump and the turtles, lots of turtles come up. Um, that would be my favorite part. Yeah. 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 It's just really peaceful yeah. and serene. Mm -hmm. It's about 3000 square feet, four bedrooms, three full baths, um, big vaulted. It, from the outside, it looks like a, you know, a simple colonial traditional kind of ranch style. Okay. And you walk in and it's got big vaulted ceilings. Um, it's got a room that was added on the back that overlooks the lake. Uh, nice. We put new floors in it. We put a new bathtub in it. We repainted it. We staged it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I oh. think that's my favorite. And for five yeah. fifty to be on the water. Now you're not on open water. You can kayak or paddleboard. Or paddle right. To have a a tree a view. tree beautiful lot. Yeah. yeah, that's quiet and peaceful, overlooking a lake, and everything is new in the house. New roof, mm -hmm. new windows. It's um and it's for us. Chesapeake is very centrally located. So mm -hmm. it. You know, you're, mm -hmm. it's 15 minutes from the highway, maybe 10, 15 minutes from the highway, and you can get to any of the bases. So for those families that might be splitting the difference, I like the location for it. For sure. That sounds like a pretty one. I can't wait to, to look at it. It's, so <laughs> yeah, nice. it's, really nice. it's just a, it's a yeah. great family home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jen, I think, Jen, what would you, what, what would you be your favorite? Do you like Norfolk? No, I don't. I, I mean, no, we're going to scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We're, we're pulling that. up we're different stuff. Do this one. We're going to jump to you. What's your really favorite? Yeah. Okay. So um, when I popped in today to look at things, um, and I've got some really like I have. Um, I can tell you guys love the like old houses. I do too. And it's so hard for me not to go like, oh, I want to. You know, what's in what's different hills right now? I'm like, don't say it every single time, right? Um, I, do, I do like the other things. Too. There is a property that is uh, on the market, 15037 Fox Branch Lane. That's in Midlothian, which is in uh, Chesterfield County. Um, and that's listed at 520 right now. Um, and it's in a neighborhood called Foxcroft. And there's like a joke about like, you know, which fox are you in? Fox this, fox that. You know, it's like they're all like fox, 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 fox all together. Um you know, 1998, and it's funny because, like, what I say, the late 90s um, is, like, my favorite, like, era or architecture. Not really. But this home, I must say, it's, like, it's weird that, like, an, a late 90s home now is, like, you know, that's an aged home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> scary. Um, yeah. But, you know, but homes that were built in 78, they are as new as a spring chicken, right? <laughs> um uh, anyways, but it was, it was built in 98, but this home has been really nicely renovated um, and just upkept. And of course, the yard is beautifully established. Um, you know, all the landscaping established. It backs up to woods. Um, 3181 on the square footage. Let's see, about um, just shy of half an acre and a nice level um, level there. And they've got trails, pools, everything in that neighborhood. Um, and just this place is decorated so great. Um, and they've renovated the kitchen. They've renovated the bathrooms. It has a nice screen porch on the back. Um, and just, just, just lovely. When I was flipping through and I was like, oh, that one, I didn't even have to go in the pictures. I'm like, I can tell I'm going to like this one. So that would be my favorite for right now. Yep. Okay. Now let's go back to the old phone and find your favorite, most expensive current listing right now. Hmm. Oof. Well, most expensive is always going to be down by the water. So yeah. 
There's yeah. actually two houses right now on the market for twelve million. Yep. Um, well, I I mean I don't. One of them I can think of is over twelve thousand square feet. So one's on the bay, one's on the ocean front at the north end. Yeah. So north end's one of our most expensive areas, and okay. Broad Bay. Um, yeah. Okay. Is is another really expensive, and they're equally stunning. Equally expensive. Yeah. Expensive, equally <laughs> stunning. So like scrolling on my phone. There's one, it's six bedrooms, seven and a half plus bath on an acre and a half. It's a double wide lot over 12,000 square feet. And it's um, right at 12K. And then Jen and I have looked at both of these. Let's see. Yeah. And then another one would be um, 7,300 Oceanfront Avenue, <clears throat> which is also listed for 12 million. Um, seven bedrooms six bedrooms with their own ensuite bath um, but of course seven and a half bathrooms total and over ten thousand square feet so quite quite the mansion yeah um and it's a double white ocean front lot so you've got yes. your private you know you have your private beach so and the first yeah. one was bobo link it's on bobo link i'll tell you the yeah. address if you ever want to look it up i will, can't wait to see it <laughs> it's 1060 bobo link drive mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah, they're pretty awesome. They're both monstrous. They are yeah. monstrous. They sound nice. They sound very nice. Quaint. Very quaint. Yeah, <laughs> quaint. But yeah. There's some beautiful properties that come up on the ocean front, you know, two, three, four, five million um, that are gorgeous. And, you know, four or five bedrooms yeah. and, a, and a little more um, homey, mm -hmm. even yeah. at two, three, four, five million, but, yeah. you know, that are pretty too. I love the water. You, your higher end stuff here is always going to be about water. Of water. Yeah. For sure. For sure. All right. Well, I know on one of these shows that I do with people, we're going to have one of our ones, our real, our, our big fancy ones that are right on the James River because, you know, you pay for water here and views too. And you'll be getting, you know, you'll have a different kind of uh, view for sure and probably will be set up. Um, and they'd be, they'd be rivaling uh, what you were talking about there. But for now, you know, very quaint at 3.5 million, right? We've got 4,300 Soulgrave Road in Richmond. Um, now it is definitely in a very, um, like the neighborhood, uh, Windsor Farms, um, and it's zoned for, interestingly enough, and I know everybody kind of does their things, it's zoned for like the elementary school when you're in the city that is like the spot everyone wants to be. Like everyone loves this elementary school they go crazy about. Then most of the time they're attending one of the many very exclusive private schools uh, that are in the area sort of thing. But this home is, um, it's it's up there too. It's, you know, so really what we are hearing, you know, you can get 12,000 square feet in Virginia Beach for um, 12 million if you want to um, really have your dollar go much further, come pay 3.5 million in <laughs> Richmond and get 10,000 square feet. I mean, really now. No. Um, this one was built in 1959. It does have a basement. Um, probably not a whole lot of basements in Virginia Beach, I'd imagine. No. Not too not many. That, not that don't fly. It, right. Sure, you want a basement? No problem. Um, five full bathrooms um, and four half bathrooms. And again, like a basement. This house is, if you were to think about um, being somewhere um, in this, you know, humongous, beautiful Georgian colonial place in a very high end uh, elite neighborhood with the fencing across, that's what this house looks like. And the grounds, the inside, um, I mean, it looks like you have just blinked your eyes and gone back to a different age, but it's also been modernized, but they blend that beautiful stuff. I mean, it is um, impressive. Absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful. So a new favorite of mine, a mere 3.5 for almost the same as what you can get. Maybe not in water, but <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, okay. Well, you guys have been so awesome. I've actually learned a lot about Virginia Beach today from locals and specialists in the area. And I'm so glad. And I know everyone else has probably enjoyed it too, for sure. Thanks for having us. I learned a lot about Virginia. Well, good. Good. Like I said, remember, we got a, we've got our new we've got our new side hustle. We're gonna do the like swap, you know, and and do a show and love it or list it. You know? 
You guys are great. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you everyone for coming back again for another episode of Living in Richmond. Uh, Virginia, remember, leave everything better. You guys were so great. And this took so much longer. I'm so sorry. I hope we didn't take too much of your time. You're fine. It was just so interesting. Oh, okay. We're, we're up to an hour. We're up to an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a true realtor. Like time, is it real estate time or is it actual time? That's right. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Thanks, thank you guys. You. Take care. Nice to meet you. See you. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, we have people contacting us all the time about um, looking for a realtor and looking to move to Richmond, Virginia. If that sounds like you, we would love to be the real estate team that helps you. All of our contact information is below the description and we can't wait to hear from you.